Cheers. God, that is gorgeous. And you know what? For an affordable multivitamin drink, you just can't beat Horlicks. I'll tell you what, uh, with the vitamins and minerals, it's clearly the winner. It beats Ovaltine hands down. You know the only thing it hasn't got that Ovaltine beats it on? Magnesium. And I'm sure I can get plenty of that for my diet. So here's the boring bit. Did you know during World War II, this was actually given out to people in the UK because uh, rationing had hit them so hard, they were on a the verge of starvation. Sure, they had their vegetables and everything uh, they grew in their own gardens, but they needed those multivitamins to help top them up. And do you know, to this day, people in uh, places like India still have Horlicks as a breakfast drink, you know, because there's alternatives to it. You can get your vegan versions. So if you don't want your milk, you don't have to have uh, milk powder in it. This one simply, it's topped up with water and it's absolutely delicious. You couldn't ask for better. <laughs> so, considering the way things are going at the moment with the economic finances, and believe me, I feel it as much as anyone, uh, you know, with the pre petrol prices, uh, sorry, gas prices going up all the time and just across the weekly shop going up and up and up and up. I mean, I, th I think easily 20, 30%, despite what people say is, is not 5.6%, it is 20, 30%. Um, yeah, you've got to find those alternatives because you know what? I'm going to give the best foods to my kids. They're going to have the protein, everything else. And um, fat old daddy here, well, I can afford to lose a few pounds. So here's hoping things don't turn out the way um, they look like they're going, you know, with blockade of the Black Sea, etc. Um, with hundreds of thousands of tons of grain and wheat all being not allowed out of the ports, that's going to severely affect us even more. Um, I really hope that doesn't happen because, uh, you know, I think this Putin is a lot more smarter than people ever gave him credit for. I think he knew exactly what he was doing and his plan is working out quite fine. Never mind economic sanctions on him, starve you out because we've been all far too used to having Russian gas, Russian um, subsidized wheat etc from Ukraine. So I think now is a time more than ever to be prepared and on that somber note, it's deep in the bunker, saying take care, stay safe, stay sane and um, double down.